G'day, I'm Brendan Wing. This is Ufish TV. Uh, a side project we do called Squid Life. 10 years ago, 2008, I stood right here on the shores of Woolies Beach at Crib Point and filmed the very first words ever spoken on Ufish TV, right here in front of that jetty, which hasn't been used for as long as I've lived. And wow, what a powerful few words they were. And to come forward 10 years and look at what we've done and where we've been around the world and it's just absolutely amazing but in all that time I probably never had a message so important as the message I have tonight and I'm pleading with everyone that's watching this right now to keep watching right to the end tonight because we have a very important message to talk about um, the very core of you fish TV and the very core of Australian fishing is at jeopardy right now especially for people in Melbourne and the Mornington Peninsula this our home waterway Western Port is potentially under the greatest threat it's ever been under right now. And as this show unfolds tonight, as we do a squid life filmed right here, right in the water, right here, uh, you'll learn a bit about what's going on. In a nutshell, this is arguably the best big squid fishery in the Southern Hemisphere, if not the world. These waters host some of the biggest estuary species of squid in the world. It's a, it's a, it's a breeding ground for the species, Southern Calamari fish that grow to four and five kilograms and are abundant here in this waterway. They breed here, they come in to breed, they have a massive biomass here and there's nothing else like it anywhere. So to say I live here and love squid is an understatement because I live here and I fish on them and it's part of everything we do and they are in danger and we've got a real problem and that's why I would like you to listen to my perspective on it tonight. I'm doing what I can with a very small amount of money I have to do it with the tools that God gave me, a camera and my voice. What makes it so special? Very unique set of features or environmental factors here are in play. The clarity of the water, it's mint, it's pristine. The seagrass types here are unique and found nowhere else, special. The salinity is the right level, but most importantly, and this is the, probably the clincher, the temperature here in this water is perfect for these squid. So what you're about to watch changes everything. And I hopefully, I don't want to alarm people too much because this is only potential, but it's a very real potential, very, very real scare coming our way. Basically, AGL, big gas, big gas corporation, giant corporation, has decided that it's in our best interests and selling it to us best they can, that they set up a huge gas terminal here, gas exchange terminal, and it has some dire consequences. Now we're not against progress, I'm for progress. We live with, with industry on this port all the time. We've got Lysarts, Blue Scope, SO, but none of these people pollute the sea. None of these people pump potential poison back into the water. Not here, not in Western Port, and that's why it thrives. But th this is a game changer because AGL, in my opinion, has stopped short in their measures to protect our environment and are willing to pump back into here and contaminate our water. So I need you to watch what's happening tonight and hopefully get on board and at the end of it we're going to tell you what you can do about it. Camera's rolling already Dave. You versus me. To set the scene everyone, we were just a Devil's been a few moments ago, about half an hour ago, stuck in a canyon, nearly dying. And we said, this is ridiculous. We don't know what we're doing. It's, it's September, there's big squid on. We've got two hours till dark. It's high tide at 5 floor 40. We live there, there's good squid right there. Let's go catch some of the bastards. So Tim, if you're watching this, we must catch something worth showing you. All right, let's go. seen the book The Lorax by Dr. Zeus? I'm, not, I'm talking about the movie, the one that's ruined. I'm talking about the pure, the original book by Dr. Zeus. Story of the Onceler. 
and he discovered paradise full of these wonderful, beautiful trees in this almost heaven-like environment called trafella trees. And he decided that if he chopped them down, he could turn them into thneeds because everyone needs thneeds. And the ones that knew that he could make a lot of money out of selling something that everyone wants. And I want you to all go and get that book and read it to your kids. Kids, I want you to read it to your parents because it is an amazing story, a visionary story about greed and the environment. And the onceler who hid in his lurkum where no one could touch him, no one could see him, but he existed, getting very rich. He raped the world of Trafella trees till there was nothing left. And it became gloomy and gray and everything was dead and all the animals left. And the environment was destroyed, all for what? So the ones that could be rich. And in the end, the ones that felt guilty, in the end, but it was too late. And what we don't want happening here is the story of the Lorax, where the Wunsler, AGL, through greed and profit and shareholders, and I hope you're proud shareholders that this is what you want, who are prepared to basically cut down this western port and its natural biodiversity and its ecosystem under the water to sell needs, to sell gas. So right now, I can literally come to that beach right there I can cast where the boat is, and I live just in behind there. I don't know why I don't do it very often. Well, should they? You don't have the VP. Don't I? Tell you what. Run the RR. Nah, uh, I've got faith in the clinches. Yeah. Hear that, everyone? Didn't even want to run the RR. Uh, uh. Pig of a man. Pig <laughs> of a man. <laughs> oh, this is magnificent. It's a good call, David. Thanks for making me come squidding. This is magnificent. Everyone, that is BP. That is Woolies Jetty, Woolies Jetty or BP Jetty. That's Woolies Point. This is where they're gonna make the massive AGL death plant. And this is some of the most beautiful, pristine ecosystem you would ever imagine. Here's some of the rarest, southernmost mangroves in the world. Here we've got seahorse colony, squid colony, whiting, fish, fiddler rays, gummy sharks, just absolute plethora of fish and they're gonna build this big gas plant here and potentially poison Western Port every single day with contaminated water. This is my problem, here's my main problem. The current runs to the ocean, 25 k's, up to the top of the port, 25 k's. Anything you release here is going to run in the current that way and that way, depending on the current, and potentially poison the port from top to bottom. People need to remember that and think about that for a second. Well, you're not going to just hear, we're talking about the whole estuary. Not ocean, estuary. That the whole of Melbourne has been looking after for decades and decades and removing netters and, and just getting it back to health and they're going to go stuff, stuff it by putting it in a bloody AGL gas plant. Now, tell me this, how is it they can just go and ram one up there without the permission of the people, permission of the locals, with no biodiversity studies, no environmental impact statements. Well, it's not good enough. And today, hopefully, we can show you it's just this very first early video that we're gonna do of the wildlife that is living right here, God willing. Because this is madness. We're talking whales, we're talking dolphins, we're talking seals. This is the sleeper Pete. I, into the washer. I call that sleepy Pete. Because it's just a bit dull, a bit sleepy. Doesn't catch a lot. Sleepy Pete. In the washo. Washo Pete. Is it? Oh, hang on. Weed, no. No, you're on. It is on. It's not doing anything, though. Oh, yeah. Full of wildlife. This whole area is a, is a carpet of sea life. It's probably the best the very best ecosystem in Western Port for squid and life around squid. Probably is on that. Oh, you son of a... He actually really, really tried to get me. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Southern Calamari, an absolutely amazing animal. 
There he is, Southern Calamari. One of the most amazing creations in the ocean, like a chameleon of the sea. They can change any color they want and literally hide in the seagrass. Now this area is full of just seagrass and life. And obviously one of the reasons they're here is a hunter. So there's one for me. Hey Jill, there's one for you. Because within a year or two, this could be a thing of the past. And not just here, the whole port. Gel, literally, have been policing that jetty for the last 10 years, even though there's been nothing happening there, nothing at all. If you're a fisherman and go anywhere near it, they come out and throw the book at you like a pack, a pack of psychopaths. They have security guards circling it in boats. They've known for quite some time that they have plans for it. Why they feel the need to protect it so fiercely from bloody fishermen has got me stuffed. Oh, oh, that's a big one. I was actually watching it back here as well. I'm not sure if my camera's on. Mine is, and I filmed it. So stay with me, just in case mine isn't. No, I think yours is as well. That was red, eh? The, and you know what's funny about this jig? Everyone knows how awesome the Harimitsu RR is. Well, this is also full red foil, or virtually identical. <clears throat> and the Shimano Sophia, it's also called RR. So this is the Sophia Clinch RR. So this is a 3.8 version, a bigger version, bigger squid, deeper water, and on tide changes, bigger jigs really do well. Because at this time, it's at this time when big squid are aggressive. He's a good fish, good squid, I should say. Hello. Oh, he's a goodie. No complaints about that one. That's a good eating one, that one, Dave. And normally, whoa, I'm going to grab them. Today I'm not grabbing them. I mean, they hold the rod. That's right. Doesn't even fit in the net hardly. That's a trout net. Ah uh ah. -uh. If it's ah uh ah, -uh, it's a good jig. Whether it's Haramitsu or Clinch, have a this baby. Oh, that one. Hello. Let's have a look at you. Big boy. We got a photo on the Yeah. It's felt like. There we go. That's called a YK. YK. Yaka. Two one. Good work. It wasn't a pole there either. Look at the rainbow, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Beautiful Western Port. Quiet, peaceful. I want you to replace that rainbow with a 300 meter tanker or two, churning and pumping, grinding, polluting, stinking. What do you reckon? Can you vision that? Because that's what we're looking at, replacing that rainbow with that. So someone somewhere can get rich. Importing product into Australia to make money. No care about locals, no care about the, the people that live here, no care about the, the, the environment that is existing here. Bringing in strange ships from all over the world with ballast water that's gonna have all sorts of parasites and organisms, organisms in it. The bay and the tourism and everything we've worked hard at for the last 50 years in this port is gonna be over and finished, we're talking pollution that's going to run all the way down to um, the heads and seal rocks where the dolphins are and the whales are 
and the seal colony is, there'll be no food for the seals, everything will be polluted. Because the tidal flow is that strong in this port that water only takes about three to four hours to reach the heads on a run out tide. And it only takes three or four hours from here to get to the top of the port on a running tide. So, it, so don't get fooled that this is just going to pollute this area. We're talking the whole port, top to bottom, an estuary. An estuary. Oh, what show? Westy. It's immaculate, Eddie, mate. It is mint. Tide change, sunset, squid coming over the side of the boat. Me happen to be beating Dave. It doesn't get any better, really. No, no, we're even. Oh. Back. Live hook up. Watch out. It's a giant. <laughs> Westy. Oh, it's not a bad one. Yeah. Where is it? That's alright, I'll just grab it. Juicy meats. Yeah. Went to a dark coloured foil and bang. The old juicy meat. And look at him, he's gone pure white as snow. With the, yep. With furious rage. That's worth it for that photo. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just last, about two weeks ago, whales were in this bay here, whales. I've got some pictures I'll put up on the screen now, sent in by one of our friends who was on the ferry. She took these photos you're looking at right now from the ferry of a family of humpback whales, including young, mooching around and playing in this area. We get seals, we get dolphins, we get snapper, we get gummy sharks, we get kingfish, we get acres of squid in here, seahorses, mangrove colonies, one of the rarest, most southernmost uh, mangrove colony in the whole bloody of Australia, right there. What are you doing? That's all right. We're just going to fill it up with chlorinated, 450, me 450 megalitres of contaminated chlorinated water every day. Cold water too. It's something like six degrees colder than it goes, it leaves the bay, used expelled, six degrees colder. Imagine the size of the suction pumps pulling that amount of water in. How much wildlife's gonna get sucked into those pumps? Birds, seals, dolphins, fish larva, fish eggs, plankton, zooplankton, bait fish, penguins, penguins galores live out here, you name it. But that's all right. We're not talking about that, AGL, are we? No. We're still doing like like some cliche movie where we're trying to convince people that it's all good for everyone. Just stay out of our waterway and stay away from us. We need Australia to stand up to these bullies because we are David and they are Goliath. We just don't know. It's completely unknown. And without any sort of research or studies, um, we're not going to know. We need proper scientific evidence to know that we're not going to damage this pristine waterway. We need rock solid evidence and a guarantee that we're not going to damage this pristine waterway. Give us that, we won't stand in the way of progress. Oh my god. That is buckling in the hole. Dave. The fight stick. They are a very nice wheel mate. Peter yeah. Ferguson, the Naskis are a definite quality product. Oh wow. Dave, we want to get some photos of this one too. Oh. Yeah. Get him in. Oh, that's a biggie. Wow. <laughs> Big. Ah, uh ah. -uh. The clinch 3.8 ah, -uh -uh is going off. 
How's it look, mate? Yeah, looks good. So this is what's happening. This is what's at stake in Western Port, right here where the AGL terminal is going to be. This shit. It is alive with these beautiful creatures. Um, can you spin him around, please? Yeah, mate. Look at that. It's a pretty long squid, that one, Dave. Yeah. It's actually a long squid, not a big squid, just a long squid. Yeah. He'd be over 40. As you can see, shit is getting urgent. We need to tell the Minister we need an environmental impact study and statement. We need guarantees that we are not going to damage the port. To know more, to get involved, to make contact with the right people, follow all the links I'll be putting in the description below. Thanks for watching.